Hi, this is Nandini. Uh, today I am going to explain my uh, project which is IP traceback algorithm for low rate DDoS attack detection. Uh, in this, the main scope of the project is uh, we are de uh, detecting low rate DDoS attack by using new information matrix and IP traceback algorithm to find all the attack as well as attacker in a local area network that is LAN and also to discard the attack traffic in the network. Um, before going on to in information matrix and IP traceback algorithm which is implemented in our project, let me explain what is DOS and what is DDoS. DOS in the sense that is denial of service. DDoS is distributed denial of service. Denial of service means uh, uh, the server will provide service to the client. That service will be denied by the uh, attacker. That is called denial of service. And um, the difference between DOS and distributed DOS is uh, if an attacker sends an uh, mounts an attack using a single post, then it is called DOS. If an attacker mounts an attack using many systems and launch a, uh, launch an attack against remote posts, then it is called DDoS. Uh, the perpetrators of DDoS attack usually target a sites or uh, ta um, target a sites or um, services that are hosted on a high profile high profile web servers. Uh, uh, for a high profile web servers, example, let me uh, say bank or a credit card payment gateways or a root name servers, etc. And uh, this DDoS attack is uh, it is an attempt to make a computer or a network resource unavailable to its internet users. That is, the server will be undisabled to the claims. Then what is low rate DDoS attack in the sense? It is an intelligent attack in which the attacker can send the attack packet to the victim at sufficiently very low rate to escape from the detection. Uh, and also it has a significant ability to consider its traffic because it is very much like a normal traffic. Um, there, there is uh, in a tra uh, network there will be normal traffic and abnormal traffic. That abno uh, this abnormal traffic also looks like a normal traffic when we implement a low rate DDoS attack. And the symptoms, in, uh, symptoms and methods in this uh, DDoS attack are the symptoms will be uh, unusually the network performance will be very slow and uh, inability to access any website and uh, there will be unavailability of a particular website and uh, there will be dramatic increase in the uh, number of spam mails received. Uh, that type of DOS attack we call it as an email bomb. Then methods used for this DDoS attack are, there are a variety of methods. Uh, one is a malware, malware which can carry a DDoS attack mechanism. Uh, uh, for example, MyDoom is a malware which can carry a DDoS attack mechanism. Then Stackle Red. Stackle Red is a classic example of the DDoS tool. And, uh, and uh, uh, zombies are also uh, used by the attacker in, in the case of Trojan. Uh, the Stackle is a classic example example of this DDoS tool. Uh, how it looks like, uh, there will be a uh, claim program running in the attacker side. This program is given to many handlers. There will be a number of handlers. Using that handler that is given to the compromised mayor, number of posts that is systems and using that system a target server is attacked. This is a target server. Red is a classic example of tool. This is a client program running in the uh, attacker site, and uh, this is given to the handler in, through which handler uh, it is co connected to co many compromised hosts. From the uh, those hosts, it is uh, the attack is mounted to the target server. And then uh, before uh, and then I would like to say the existing system in our project is uh, first uh, loss scale DDoS attack is usually combined with multiple low rate attack. And there are two types of uh, 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 DDoS attack detection metrics in this uh, existing system. One is signature based metric and another one is anomaly based metric. Signature based metric in the sense, uh, there will be a set of predefined patterns or strings will, which will be stored earlier. Uh, it, it, it is stored earlier based on the uh, uh, before uh, it, before attack packet. That attack packet, uh, that is that stored is which is uh, compared with the incoming network packet. 
Incoming packet is compared with that. If there is a match, then that is attack packet and it is discarded. If there is a mismatch, then that is a normal packet and it is forwarded to the uh, downstream rotors. Uh, in anomaly based symmetry, anomaly in the sense it is abnormal. In the word itself, you can say the normal network behavior will be abnormal in this case of metric. Uh, it is used to identify abnormal traffic among all the normal traffic. Um, this is also I compared with that. Normal traffic will be uh, taken and the incoming network behavior is compared which, in which we have deployed the normal network behavior. If there is a match that is a normal packet and it is forwarded to the routers, if there is mismatch it is discarded. Then there is uh, some drawbacks in this existing system. The drawbacks are uh, first the low rate DDoS attack is uh, it's not easy to detect because it is very much like a normal traffic. And in the anomaly based symmetry, there are uh, many drawbacks. That is, first, uh, the, the attacker will train the detection system uh, to accept the normal network, abnormal network behavior also as a normal. That is one drawback. And another is fast pass to rate. Fast pass to rate in the sense, uh, there is an uh, attack packet. That attack packet is sent through the network, the, which is indicated, which will be indicated as a normal. This is fast pass to rate. Negative one is denoted as a fast human. So that fast pass rate is very high in the case of anomaly based symmetry compared to the signature based symmetry. That is another drawback. And the third drawback is, is uh, we are defining a threshold to find the uh, abnormal uh, deviation of the statistical characteristics. That threshold is difficult to set. And finally, uh, we, we cannot able to extract the features in a normal network behavior and abnormal network behavior. So we cannot extract, uh, this will behave like this and the abnormal will behave like this. That is very difficult to extract. So these are all the drawbacks we face in the existing system and that drawbacks are overcome by our proposed system in which in our, in our proposed system uh, we have defined two metrics, one is generalized entropy metric and another one is information distance metric. Generalized entropy is normally is a measuring the redundancy, uh, redundancy in data. Redundancy means uh, if, if you are sending any message, that message will contain number of spaces. But when it is transmitted, the spaces will be eliminated. That kind of redundancy is measured using this generalized entropy. And next is information distance metric. Information distance is uh, uh, there will be network traffic, normal traffic and attack traffic. The, the normal traffic and attack traffic is compared uh, to find the uh, distance, information distance. That is a gap between the attack traffic and the network traffic. Uh, this uh, this metric uh, using this information distance metric it improves the system detection sensitivity and also there will be a lower false positive rate. False positive rate will also be low, but in existing system that that lower false positive rate is very much higher higher. So for uh, for uh, to find the uh, DDoS attack uh, early and uh, to reduce the lower false positive rate, we are increasing the information distance between that at the attack flow and the normal flow. Uh, then. Uh, coming on to the system architecture which we implemented on our project is first there are number of routers. Uh, if, from the routers we are we are extracting the network traffic and the attack traffic separately. The network traffic and attack traffic are used to find a generalized entropy. That is here we are targeting the redundancy or uncertainty here. And using the generalized entropy we are finding the information distance. Here the gap is calculated between the attack traffic and the network traffic. Using that information distance metric. We are, trace, we are doing a traceback analysis, which I will explain further. Thus, uh, in the traceback analysis, it will uh, it will provide whether it is a normal packet or an abnormal packet. The normal packets are forwarded to the routers. If there is abnormal packet when uh, doing a traceback analysis, it is discarded here. And uh, uh, the modules which we implemented in our project are which contains four. One is generalized information uh, entropy metric and information distance metric, collaborative DDoS attack detection algorithm. Then IP traceback analysis. Before I uh, like to explain the modules, I will say one example how this uh, DDoS attack is implemented in a real time and what happened when it is implemented. I will say an example. It is a real time example. Is say a group of five hackers join and decide to uh, break a, I mean uh, uh, to bring down a server that is uh, for example take a Fortune 500 company servers down. So now the five hackers decide and uh, they will uh, break a uh, very less protected, smaller and less protected network. Each network consists of uh, 
consider each network consists of 20 systems. So this 5 access has 5 network and each network consists of 20 system. There will be 100 system for that access to attack from. So now what they will do is, uh, sitting on their own computer, they will connect to the hack less protected network. Using uh, in that network, using that network, they will install a denial of service tool. Maybe it may be a stack record which I said earlier or it may be a malware, anything they will install into that uh, home, home, home computer and it will be connected to the all the networks. So, uh, so here all the systems which are in the network is hacked. Now using that hacked network, they will, uh, they will mount an attack uh, which in which they, uh, to which they want to uh, actually attack. The targeted server that is Fortune 500 company server is attacked by using the spy network. So, uh, what are the advantage of doing this distributed? I mean, the networks are splitted and from the 100 system, the server is attacked. The uh, advantage of this is, it gives the hackers less easy to detect. We cannot e uh, detect easily. And uh, we cannot detect easily. And um, the hackers uh, also, uh, they can do whatever the, uh, whatever the action they wanted to do without getting caught. So, since they have um, the uh, full control of uh, network, the, since they have full control over that smaller, less protected network, uh, they can uh, remove all the traces uh, before the authorities get there. This is uh, one advantage of for the hacker. So, we are uh, we are finding that attack, that type of attack in our uh, project, and we are implementing the concepts uh, through various uh, modules. So let me explain what module now. This is a generalized entropy metric. As I said first, it is a measure of uncertainty and it can the randomness of a system. This is one of the important metric in uh, index. Then uh, income inequality and redundancy uh, information theory is uh, very equal to this, uh, this generalized entropy metric. Then information distance metric is a second module. Here, uh, as I said, distance measurement is done here between the traffic flow and the no, between the normal flow and the uh, abnormal flow because between the traffic flows. So based on the distance measurement, we are calculating the information distance. Here, flow. A flow is defined as uh, it is nothing but a packet which are uh, passing through a router, passing through many routers, uh, which also share the same uh, uh, destination address. We call it as a flow. The, if, uh, in that flow, if the distance between uh, distance is very small, then we call it as uh, DD. Then they uh, claim that as a DDoS attack. If the distance is large, I mean, uh, we will set some threshold. If it is uh, greater than that, uh, that is normal. And if it is lesser than that, it is DDoS attack. So uh, this is a network. Uh, before explaining this, uh, we go for third module. This is collaborative uh, DDoS attack uh, algorithm. In this algorithm, using this algorithm, we can detect uh, low rate DDoS attack early and discard the uh, attack packets in a LAN. And using this algorithm, we can analyze the um, we can analyze we can analyze the attack packets in a upper stream routers itself instead of just only in the victims router. See, this is an example. This is a victim. Uh, here, this, uh, this is a server. These, uh, these are connected in a uh, connected to form a network. The, uh, this is connected using LAN, LAN connection, and uh, the LANs are connected using a router. There are many routers, uh, namely R1 to R8. And e in each LAN, there are many users, normal users, and also as an attacker. Uh, this is in attacker is uh, this, and normal user is this. Normal users will send some packets and attacker also sends some packets. It will come through a LAN and it will forward to routers. Here the router will calculate uh, the information distance metric, generalized entropy, information distance metric and using this algorithm, this router, router will, uh, will find that that is attack packet and discard here itself. It will not come to victim's router so that the server will provide proper service to the other clients. Uh, uh, it will provide pro uh, proper service to uh, all the clients. It will not uh, stop the service. Uh, using this algorithm, it can be done. Then, um, so if you want to do this, uh, if you want to implement this algorithm, you have to enlarge uh, the distance between the uh, normal traffic and also attack traffic. Then finally, fourth module is IP traceback analysis. Uh, before this, uh, the, the processing approach of the, the collaborative detection algorithm is
Here we have to find first we have we will define some threshold that is say I mean, alpha, sigma, anything. You will, first you define this and uh, then if there are four routers, first sample the network flow in all the routers. This is R1, R2, R3 and R4. We have to sample how the network flow will be in this router, in this router, in this router, in this router. This, router. this uh, after sampling this network flow, we have to do uh, prob we have to calculate the probability distribution. With the probability distribution, we find the information distance for all the routers. Then the information distance is summed to form one uh, one value. This in summed information distance is compared with the uh, threshold which I said earlier, that is alpha or sigma. If it is greater than this, then that is attack packet and it is discarded without forwarding to the next router. If it is lesser than the uh, lesser than the uh, threshold, then it is a normal packet and it is forwarded to the uh, downstream routers. Then final module is IP traceback analysis. In IP traceback, mm -hmm. I, traceback in the sense, a, a normal traceback system should be able to identify the source of the uh, attack packet which is sent across the network. Mm -hmm. So to identify the source of any attack packet, we are using the traceback analysis. Uh, this IP traceback algorithm forms an effective collaborative detection uh, mechanism. And it also used to find the source of zombies, that is uh, those who implement the DDoS attack that can be found using IP traceback analysis. And finally, uh, due to the trusting nature of this IP protocol, the IP protocol may, may not be authenticated. And uh, there are two types of IP traceback uh, uh, analysis, one is PPM and the other one is DPM. PPM in the sense probability, probabilistic packet marking and DPM is in the sense deterministic packet marking. In the, in the PPM, uh, this PPM is uh, we are uh, we are finding the uh, IP packet and the that uh, we are calculating the probability with, uh, for the IP packet within the local range of the internet and DPM this is uh, this is calculated uh, when the uh, internet router is updated and finally uh, uh, this uh, these are the four modules uh, and uh, uh, we uh, we have proposed uh, some information matrix and IP traceback algorithm which will substantially improve the performance of the low rate DDoS attack detection. And the uh, uh, advantages of this proposed systems are uh, we can uh, er, uh, detect early DDoS attack and uh, uh, lower fast pass to rate will be there will be a lower fast pass to rate. Uh, then there will be stability. We can trace all the attack as well as attacker in a LAN using IP traceback mechanism. And also it discards the attack traffic if there is anything in the network. That's all about the uh, advantages of this project. Uh, then uh, the conclusion is uh, it will substantially improve the performance of the uh, performance of the network uh, using this uh, information matrix and also the IP traceback mechanisms. Thank you.